Oh, that's what's going on in Smash Bros. Weekly. Whoa! Intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 77, Rush. 77. Mate, from now on, call me Mariah Carey. Fucking eight octaves of Devil's Angel's voice right there, mate. It is, mate. I meant, I meant to say a uh, voice of an angel. I f***ed that up big time, didn't I? He did. Speaking of uh, noise of the devils and angels, have a listen to this, mate. Oh. <laughs> you know what that's the sound of, Nevosh? Fresh VB crack. That is the sweet sound of a f***ing zero sugar calorie free monster, mate. Now, well, I shouldn't, um, say I shouldn't say calorie free, but zero sugar monster. It's got like 16 calories. <sighs> Fuck, I just want to say, now available in six packs and by single cans from uh, massivejoes.com. And also in stores as well. Yep. That was the worst product placement we've done ever. I know. That was actually disgusting. I have to get Dillip to edit that shit. We really, anyway. we really went balls out then, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Topics of discussion, Neve. All right, back in stock, new products, coming soon, MTS Way update, monthly specials, Kai Green content. Fuck. Ask Neve. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You've actually got the wrong sheet. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, shit. Young Josh, our warehouse manager, has written on the top of the sheet. You guys can, you guys can check that shit. If you get zoom focus. If I can get some zoom focus action, please. You can see that right there. It says, put up, get your f***ing face out of it and put the whole thing in. Yeah, is that going to work there? It says, oh. please don't f*** this up. So he's actually asked Nevos, please don't f*** this up and put the wrong <laughs> meeting agenda in Weekly Word. No, this, this is right. No, it's not. It's completely incorrect. No, it's not. All it's, com it's completely incorrect. Oh, really? So we're just going to have to take a, a, a quick break a quick intermission, get the proper What's schedule you? of events, and we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Sorry for that hiatus. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> that was a bit of a f up now, wasn't it? Well, it's been like, let's be honest, it's been 15 minutes since we went to go get the f***ing piece of paper. Not that you would know, because in no, the no, video no. editing world, that was like less than a second. Yeah. Anyway, topics of discussion. So the new topics of discussion are, yeah. back in stock, new products coming soon, MTS update. Well, those four are all the same. Yeah. MJSC opening. Oh, shit! So that's how you knew that it was the wrong one. Yeah. And ask Neve. Yeah. Uh, th th that's it? That's it. That's it? Yeah. Well, we may as well start with the usual topic of discussion. Look at the freight on the hose! <laughs> I want to just point out one of the comments from one of our subscribers. It was a brilliant comment. It needs to be repeated. Said that it looks like... If you missed it... It said that your hair looks like someone has put a toupee on their dick. Not at this stage, but when I do this... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pay that. Bravo. Bravo. That was a good call. Someone talk. called you something about spoof hair. Uh, that was also one of yeah. my, my favourite ones. Anyway, I think the, 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 the point we're trying to make is Robbie needs to come visit us on Monday because yeah. it's getting out of control. Well, Yours I wanna, too. I, I wanna him Your beard is getting out of control. It's day five, mate. I don't give a f what day it is, mate. You need to shave that shit. Yeah. That is looking nasty. I need, I need to trim up a little the cheeks a bit here. First topic of discussion here. Uh, so back in stock. So yeah. Gold Standard Pre is now back in stock in all flavors, all five flavors. It is. Uh, Immune Energy, yeah, now back in stock in all like- We don't usually run out of ON, no, we but don't. we had some shortages with some Amino Energy uh, flavors in both sizes. Mm. And uh, I think Watermelon Gold Standard Pre was out. Yeah. Back in stock so, in all 37 flavors of yeah. Amino Energy. All, all both, both back. And actually, while we're on that point, the uh, Cafe Latte series Amino Energy is due to launch uh, later this month. Yeah. I'm excited for that shit. ATP, Alpha Venus, and Alpha Mars. Alpha Venus. Uh, sorry, Alpha Venus. Men and women. Men and women, gray and pink. Which table. actually happens to be the exact same exact product same with product. a different f***ing label on it. A back in stock, which also means that the Alpha stack and yeah. the Test stack. Yes. Are all back in stock. All of the hormone boosting stacks are back, baby. And I want to say, just keep your eyes peeled for some uh, ATP stacks. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would say that. I would. Move along. Uh, Alcapure, now yep. back in stock. Boom! Which means that the drop stack, the... Fat loss triangle, yeah, like fat one. loss triangle ultra. 
all that Everything stuff. that includes Arca is back. Our most popular stacks. I f***ing hate when we run out of Arca. I know. Creation supplements <laughs> shitting all over our chests. I f hate Those motherfuckers. I hate the mm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next minute letter. <laughs> uh, HPNNR. Yes. Now back inside from Sean. Back. From Sean off. And I will actually say as well, I'm going to do a, a follow up, follow up raw review on that because I've been using that for my contest prep. Yeah. And I have to say, like, I, I, feel, I felt it worked very well in, in the off season, but during contest prep, f me. Yeah. It is amazing shit. And I will also say that this new, so it's back in stock, it's exactly the same product. But our brother Sean Torbati from HPN, you're wearing the shirt at the moment, the Gains Alliance, um, has changed the the fiber in there that actually holds that holds the NR, holds the nitrogen. Mm -hmm. So those of you that have used it before would know that it didn't dissolve. It, it like water. clumped up and was disgusting. Yeah. The fiber is now different, so you like you like drop the scoop in water and yeah. Pfft, Delicious. It dissolves perfectly. We tried, so it, it's awesome. we tried it when we were in America and it, it, did, it went very well. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Uh, new products. Yeah. So, all day. Oh, Monster. Oh, Monster is it's a probably new where, where we should start. I'm having all kinds of fing issues with the zoom and oh, focus action seriously. today. Someone said. Can Dylan well, not fing set up a lens to focus? I want to say as well. Is yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone said we may as well shoot this on our iPhone 6 because at least we get a bit of zoom and focus on it. Yeah, it's fucking horrible. We've got all these bloody lenses and none of them can focus. Don't they do awesome you, effects and shit. You, you're embarrassing me. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. Anyway, Monster! Now in stock at Massive, all of our retail stores, soon to be six, and MassiveJoes.com in singles and six packs. Or you can buy a four to make a carton. Yeah. And you get sent in an actual full box, which is pretty... Uh, Pretty nasty. Keep the box and make a cubby house or some shit. Yeah, where are you? Dog. Where on your head? Be Ned Kelly for the weekend. <laughs> All right. Oh, no one in what America, else is No one in America would know who Ned Kelly was. Though, no, you know? no idea. Boom. He's like the Jesse James of America, really, isn't he? Yeah, I would go so far. Australia, I mean. Yeah. Anyway, do you know who Jesse James is? Of course I do. Cowboy. American gangster. Yep. All right. All day you made watermelon. <laughs> All day you made watermelon now available. Yeah, new flavor of all day you may. I'm uh, so surprised to say one of the most delicious behind mango pineapple. C4 Gen 4. C4 G4. Both sizes, 30 serves, 60 serves, and all six flavors. Dropped into house. <laughs> PS Way 100. Yeah, you guys have been waiting for this one, man. The non amino spiked PS Way. ProSup's way of saying non amino spiked is PS Way 100. Yeah. Our way of saying it is PSY 8 more than 92. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's non amino spice. It's pure, pure WPR WPC blend. Uh, available in both sizes. So now the sizes. Does, this one doesn't have 16 grams of taurine in a <laughs> We size. could. Re the funniest. No, we should. We should because it's legit. The funniest thing with, with pro subs is they were all like, we never amino spiked in mm. that first protein. Yeah. Now their proteins have come down like 20% in size and they cost the exact same amount. <laughs> <laughs> they realized <laughs> we can't actually make our proteins and put proteins. Anyway, in. available in uh, two sizes. So two pounds and four pounds in every flavor except for the glazed donut we're still waiting on delivery of. Yeah. Which is unfortunate because that's the best flavor. Yeah. But that's coming soon anyway. I wasn't man. that much of a fan of it though. No. All right, uh, ISO 100 now available in a cinnamon bun flavor. Boom. In For those big, of you that like the cinnamon bun casein. In the big tubs. Yeah, amazing. Uh, Biogrow now available in the snickerdoodle. Mm -hmm. Which is not Snickers, it's like cinnamon cookie flavor. Snickerdoodle? Yeah. Real American flavor, that one. ATP Quad RX. Oh shit. Adrenal and, uh, it was adrenal and It's adrenal uh, support. Cortisol and cortisol stress. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool supplement. Mm. I'll, I'll give it to ATP, doing some good things, man. I've been using Doing it. some novel things in this industry, you know what I'm saying? I've been using it uh, twice a day. Yep. Um, and also uh, TMJ sleeveless tanks. Yeah. Oh, which ones? You guys have been waiting for these ones, man. You've been waiting for these ones. These ones just launched today on girls. MassiveJoes.com. The Show is, them. Sorry, that's the girls ones. Two new, our first two new pieces of apparel in the next in the next season of apparel. TMJ uh, sleeveless muscle tanks. So what does it say on the back? Team Massive Joes. And it's got the Crown Wings logo on the back. It's got TMJ on the front. And we got, I would just want to, I want people to appreciate the detail. We have gone balls deep in this. Full custom sizing label. So you guys see that? See that? Full custom sizing label. I want you guys to check this out. 
custom hem tag, right? Now you're impressed by the hem tag, right? But check this out. You flip the hem tag on the back. If I could get some fucking zoom and fuck, Dylan! <laughs> Jesus! I just want to say, we literally did great. He's fucking with, with the presentation. There we go. TMJ, flip it. Stay massive on the backside. Full custom tags up in this bitch. We have left no stone unturned. Those are the muscle tanks. Sleeve us muscle tanks no, available in away. black and... Grey with the white. I actually prefer the grey and I white. I prefer the grey. You know what? It's amazing. And the material on these guys, like this is not just your standard cotton material. This is, uh, it's amazing. Um, we have not, we have not f spiders. It's taken us a long time. I'll, granted, it's taken us forever to get this new release of apparel out, but zero spiders were f I want to be honest, Joe really has gone balls deep on these. He actually has rubbed his dick on most of them for about 15 minutes for all you fanboys out there. They're that good. They're really that good. <laughs> and then also, that's the first piece. The second piece for Joe, the pushy cats. Most people call it hustling. Joe just calls it rubs his dick on clothes for them. <laughs> <laughs> the second piece, we couldn't leave the pushy cats out. So the first new piece of power for the pushy cats is the women's cotton racerback tanks. So we've TMJ on the exactly front. the same design. Yeah. Except no Team Massive Joes. No Team Massive Joes. They got the crown wings. They got the custom hem tag as well. Where you got the, you flip it and it says stay massive. There's your zoom and focus. You see that? Look at that custom hem tag. TMJ, stay massive, motherfuckers. And then got the grey as well. And also in grey, available also. So we're excited, man. Yeah. That's the that's the beginning of the next the next chapter in Team J Apparel. It's just it's starting. A, it's it's on a different level. You, man, if you guys have owned Team J Team J Apparel in the past, this shit is gonna blow your f***ing mind. Next topic of discussion, Nick. All right, uh, so new apparel coming soon: gym bags, towels, bro jugs, Team J bro jugs. Yeah. And long sleeve shirts are all coming. Yeah, so let me give some ETAs on this because I know people are gonna be interested. Gym bags are mid November. On the same shipment as the gym bags are the towels, mm. also mid-November. Bro jugs are mid-December, so they're still about a month away. Yeah. Long sleeve shirts are mid-November as well. Mm -hmm. So within the next two weeks, you're gonna have gym bags, long sleeve shirts, towels, and then like two weeks after that, you're gonna have the bro jugs. Yeah. And the bro jugs are f***ing neck level. Yeah. Move on. I just wanna say, is Activate Shred like available online yet? Yeah. Cause I'm sweating like a bitch. I've noticed, look at you all vascular and shit. Is there, seriously, if anyone wants to like, pick me up, and make, nothing makes me shred as much as this activate shred shit. Yeah. I don't know what the in it. I think yeah, some good stuff, I'd say. I think we're at a T3. Yep. All right, um, Cool Heart Extreme. Yep. Ships to us next week. Core cool MRP. Two weeks away. You guys already know about that one. Core cool is a mid-November arrival. Uh, run Everything Lab, show the world, and enter with purpose. We'll be here next week. Clash New Flavors, Ruckus, and Way Key Lime Pine. All gonna be here next week. <laughs> oh, next week's a big week at Massive Joe's, mate. Which will lead you on to the MTS update. Yeah, MTS update, next topic of discussion. So, MTS update, Ruckus is in next week in all five flavors. Clash is in in the three new flavors plus a restock of all the flavors. MTS way, Nevosh is back in next week in every flavor, including the all new Key Lime Pie. Uh huh. Next week. Yep. It's going down. And I did, I, I, I popped the Periscope up uh, earlier this week and I gave a full update on Core, Core Hard, Core MRP. Is that the Periscope? Yeah, it popped it up, mate. It looks like, you look like a fucking emu, mate. Yeah. Uh, gave a full <laughs> update on, on everything MTS. And we said, look, we, we said, we, we have ordered so much MTS way on this shipment, it's ridiculous. Like we actually, we have no space in our warehouse to put it. The order they couldn't, they couldn't put the order in the MTS in the MTS warehouse. It was too something. big. What? Put your finger in my belly button. No. I feel how like sweaty it is. I can see by your <laughs> face. The viewers at home can see how sweaty you are. I'm actually concerned. I think you're about that fucking heart attack I think I'm or some dying. shit. Fucking legit. I'm going through <laughs> menopause. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not. Anyway, I'm, I'm not a healthy person. Back to MTS way. Uh, it's gonna sell out again. It is, because, and we've, we've, we've already got back orders coming left, right and centre from retailers all over Australia and New Zealand, and they're exceeding our sales projections, and we're doing the best we can, guys, but it will sell out again. So if you want it, I don't want to hear motherfuckers complain. If you want it, go and get it next week and buy enough tubs to get you at least two months' worth. Yeah. Because the next shipment is not due for another six weeks, yep. which will turn into eight weeks. Yep. So 
next week, go and buy at least eight weeks worth of MTS Way. Do and it. then you won't run out. Do and it. then no one will be breaking our balls. Mm -hmm. Done. Ain't that the truth? Next. Next topic of discussion is MJSC opening December 5th. So yeah. we have, well, Joseph and the team have just signed off on store number six mm -hmm. here in Adelaide. Um, SC, I'm going to tell you where it is. It's southern suburbs. Southern suburbs. It goes without saying. The people of the, of the southern suburbs of Adelaide have been if you look, asking if you look, for a good supplement store for years. If you look towards the sea, and yeah. it's not a Holden, that's where we are. What? It's not a Holden, it's a Ford. So you, oh, I get it. Oh, you're good. Look at you dropping all them kids. Round of applause for Nebosh. Anyway, December 5 is a grand opening. It's going to be off the chain, man. It's, gonna, it's got potential to be our biggest opening ever. Yeah. Not just because of the location, and when you guys find out where this store is in the southern suburbs, we could not get a better location. In fact, the store, the actual store we're going into was built for us by the place that we are in. Oh, mate. They wanted the hose. They wanted all the big hose. They wanted Massive Joe's in there. So they wanted all yeah. five inches of the big hose. Yeah, yeah, all, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna it's gonna be not just because of the store location but because we've got mts way back into house the new apparel will be back into house the gym bags will be in the house oh. the towels will be in the everything we've got jake there fresh off of fifth place at the mr universe ash is gonna be there big knee wash gonna be there i'm not doing a powerlifting comp just so i can be there it's gonna be epic lock it down now december 5. Adelaide yeah. Southern Suburbs. I want to see people fly from around the country I, for this shit. I wouldn't. Alan did last year. Yeah. Alan did to come to Norwood. I want, I want, oh, it wasn't last year. It was a few months ago. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just time flies when you have flies. flies. I can't believe Barney hasn't flown over. Next topic of discussion. What a dog. Oh. Oh. 28 questions. Let's get through them. We're going to go rapid fire in this bitch. Yeah, I don't want any Much like ones. Nevos making love, you know what I'm saying? Three, three powerful thrusts. <laughs> Ash Kamak wants to know, hey guys, notice you guys have been drinking monster cans a lot lately. Someone's been noticing? Well, you've put in every Snapchat, mate. Love them, man. Um, is there any particular guys who are drinking that instead of a caffeinated BCAA supplement? Or is it just for the taste slash something different? Cheers, lads. Keep up the good work. Um, I mean, I think it's just for the effort. Is it called effort? It's just something effort? different, something man, different. to be honest. To be honest, like drinking That's all like it is. amino energy for us personally, yeah. because it's been around for three years, we've been there, done that every single flavor. Yeah. So, I mean, this is the, the, I was, this is the flavor of the month. I was first introduced to Monster by Nevosh in LA, in Tim yeah. Jane, the USA season three. And since then, I've been addicted. Yeah, we were drinking every flavor. I love them. In America, they have a lot more flavors. But this one's the best, though. Yeah. I reckon. Barney Ong. Hold on, why is Barney's question first? I'm saving that one for last. Colby Hanley wants to know, how do you guys travel so much, get such little sleep, and still manage not to get sick? I find whenever I go on a long grind, it always ends in getting sick. Um, I'll ask for Joe. Joe flies a lot more than I do. Yeah. But Joe always takes his MTS machine greens, mm. number one. So he's mm. always having his greens, always having his multi. Mm -hmm. You eat very healthy mm -hmm. in terms of the protein and getting all your veggies in. Mm. So you're getting all your, your nutrients. nutrients in, yeah. which I think is a massive, a massive thing. If I, I've been like for previously when I've like not gotten enough sleep and I'm eating shit, yeah, and not getting enough nutrients in and not getting enough vitamins, not stuff, supplementing properly, then yeah, you do feel like shit. It's the lifestyle, brother. We're 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 supplementing and and eating properly. So why you know why would you get sick unless you get struck down by a virus or something like that? There's no reason for you to get sick. I didn't get sick once this year. Touch well, I got the flu from Doug Miller in bloody oh, Auckland. Yeah. Well, yeah, fucking, yeah, like. Gangrene or some shit. Lazy Jones wants to know, sup lads, will Doug Miller be reformulating Core Fury Drug. Extreme? Drug Miller. Drug Miller, sorry, my bad. He's not a natty. Definitely not natty. Because of the US FDA ban on Picamillan. If so, will TMJ find itself on the receiving end of Dougie's entire US supply of the old formula? Is there a buy one, get 30 free special for Core Fury in the future? I didn't notice, I didn't know about that to be honest, did you? Yeah, I did. Doug is reformulating. Uh, he's taking picamelon out, putting theanine in, and removing the artificial cinephrine and replacing it with natural cinephrine from bitter orange extract, the Adventure Z cinephrine. That's what's happening. But it's, it's in the process of happening now. The, to be honest with you, man, you'll never see that on Core because Core sell more than they can produce right now. 
Yeah. They literally they, they, they literally run POs to fill purchase orders. So they're never going to have an oversupply of Core Fury. Reginald Fairfield wants to know, what's up guys? I know you've talked a lot about fasted cardio, but what about fasted weight training? Due to my schedule, I have to train at 4.30 a.m. every day. When I wake up, I'm not hungry, so I just take my pre-workout and sip machine fuel through the duration of my workout, then hit my post-workout protein shake. My first meal probably doesn't come until 9 a.m. and then I try to eat every three hours, but I tend to binge towards dinner. Mainly, I just want to know your thoughts on recommendations on this type of training, as lately I've noticed a plateau in gains. Mike from Boston. To be honest, I hate it. Yeah, I, I it's can't, the worst. Yeah, I can't think of anything worse. Even if I've had a meal like in the morning and then go train like an hour later, yeah, I still feel like absolute shit because mm. I need to have a I, like this is me personally. Yeah, I train best with like four or five meals. I'm exactly like four the same. Four meals under my belt. I'm rubbish in the morning. If you got me up to train fasted, I would tell you to go f yourself. Especially fasted weight training, where yep. I mean, you and I like to throw around fairly. Heavy I hate weights. doing fasted cardio. We well, tend to throw around fairly heavy weights, and at four thirty in the morning with no food. I've only just gotten to sleep at 4.30. The thing is, Reginald, is, you know, the reason why you do fasted cardio is because you want your body to have no other fuel source other than body fat. When you're lifting weights, you want your body to have all the fuel it needs you need muscle to make gains. You want, you want muscle glycogen. So you got to eat, man. Mm -hmm. Michael Ho, if you had to pick only one whey protein to use the rest of your life, what brand and flavor would it be? My all-time favorite has always been Domitai's Ice 100 in the fudge brownie. Really? As I wouldn't have picked that. I mean, I like MTS Whey. Yeah. In, especially in the vanilla flavor. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't, either one of those. Oh, no, oh, but MTS, you make into a sludge. You've still got some to use. No, you, can't, you can't fucking weigh ISO. This is ridiculous. You can't sludge ISO 100. No, it has to be, it has to be MTS. I think, you just, I think we just witnessed Nevos go full yeah, retard. I'm, I'm, on on, I'm on low carb today. Damn. And when you say low carb, you mean a thousand grams? <laughs> uh, my, mine is without hesitation, man. MTS Way cookies and cream. No. Mr. D Moneys wants to know, hello, Sir Neve. I have a question about tricep development. My right short head of my tricep is a lot less developed than my left. I've tried to do single arm exercises to isolate it, but was wondering if there is anything else I can do to help this imbalance. Thanks, fellas. Stay massive. Um, I guess another thing, I mean, a lot of people hit me up about imbalances lately as well. Um, another thing to look at as well is like your elbow placement and your shoulder placement and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because it depends on like, if, even if you're doing, even if you're doing single, like let's say you're doing single rope press, tricep press downs, yeah. and one you bring more straight and the other one you're bringing out try towards them, the, try them, try them. like one you come in this, like when you're coming out this way, yeah. it's going to hit more short head as you can see it moving there. Yeah, boom. And if I'm going the other way, like if you go different angles, it's going to hit slightly long different head. long head and short right. head. <clears throat> so I mean, that's one thing is is if if you end up doing like, what, how many reps would you do maybe? 500 reps <coughs> of tri tricep workout, for example. That's a lot of reps. 500 reps. <coughs> sort of in tricep volume workouts are you doing at the moment, I'm doing, brother? I'm doing 1,000 reps. God damn. I'm doing 1,000 reps arm workouts. I don't, think, I don't think I've ever seen you do 500 reps. No. Nah. Do you understand that's 50 sets of 10? Have you actually thought that through? No, it's five sets of 20 and five exercises of each exercise. There's no five. way you do 500 reps with tricep. I don't, I've been doing 1,000 That is bullshit. I've been doing the, why do you think I've got big arms? No, you actually don't. I do. No, I don't think so. Let's measure. All right, let's go. I did right this. here. <laughs> right here for the people to see. You ready? Yeah, hey, you got the f***ing angle. You got angle. <laughs> it's a thousand rep arm workout. I anyway, wanna, I'm going to drop. No, I'm just going to drop this one because yeah. this is a cool workout. All right, all right, hit it, hit it. It's teenage.com, the thousand rep arm workout. Yeah. It's five exercises of triceps, five exercises of biceps. Yeah. Five reps of twenty. F sets of twenty. Next minute, Nevos doing the Rich Piana eight hour arm workout. It takes three hours to you know do. What I'm it takes three hours to do. Are you going to ask the question, or are you going to talk about your? Swing your dick and talk about your thousand rep arm workout. What's the question? Just let me get out the way real quick. Oh, about tricep. Yeah, just make sure. Make sure you're just hitting them like equally. Oh shit. And make sure like with different uh, like because I've noticed like my biceps have been like my left bicep peaks a lot more while my right bicep isn't as peaky and it's more fatter. Yeah. And I have a look when I do like just say like preacher curls. Yeah. And this arm is like real and like straight. And this one I've always gotten an angle. Yeah. And that's why it hits this bit here more, but it hits it's f 
Nick James, the name, <laughs> wants to know. Ask Neve to you or Joe. I live in Seattle, Washington. Been a long time subscriber. I believe at one point you guys said your himbine wasn't allowed in Australia. Uh, if it was allowed in Australia, would you use it and why? Yeah, we'd use it. We use it when we go to America. We've used it many times, man. I think it's a great fat burner. I don't think that it's the make or break of, of, a, of a cutting cycle or a fat loss cycle at all. Yeah. But I think, you know, for it definitely helps. It's a, it's a good different stimulant for a while, but I mean, like yeah. everything, you sort of get a bit immune to it after a while. Of course you do. Whereas when, I, when me and Joe, because we've been there once a year, yeah. when we use it for the f***ing two or three weeks we're there, mm. I, it's like nothing else I've had before. That's it. Like, it feels like it again, but I sweat so much. I sweat so much after him. That's the thing I find with your him. I just want to say it, quiet, just quietly. Sweat, but it's like cold sweat. Yeah, it's f***ing gross. It's, yeah, it's not... It, uh, I've the, currently, yeah. I just don't want to say this out loud, but yeah. I'm going to say it to the 90,000 subscribers we've got. Yeah. Is I've got the Angel Dust Blackstone Labs Your Himbean version. Yeah. And I use that like once or twice a week. Yeah. And I, I get, I'm drenched in sweat afterwards. Your yeah. Himbean just makes me sweat. David B wants to know, hey guys, thanks for the great vids. I have a question about pre-workouts. It is recommended you take a four to eight weeks on, then two weeks off to reset your stimulant tolerance. I've gone way longer than the recommended, uh, probably eight weeks longer. But as a night worker, I need caffeine to get me going beforehand. So when I start my pre-workout break, can I still drink caffeine products like Mother Zero? Monster Zero. Monster. Come on, mate. Or should I go caffeine free for two plus weeks? I never go full free caffeine. I never nah. go full no caffeine. I do cycle off on caffeine, like try to. Mm. I mean, like some, some days or like, yeah, multiple days in a row, I'll go real high caffeine when I'm just feeling like fucked. Yeah. And then other days I'll just have maybe one coffee and then a pre-workout. And at the moment, like I'm not having a pre-workout. Yeah. But I'll still have like Monster or a, like a fat burner before just in the afternoon pick me up. Yeah. So, and but the thing with me and you is we never use the same pre-workout. Yeah. For long periods of time. I mean, we do. I always come back. We go back. We go back to my favourite. What I'm not saying Core is you don't, you don't use Core right Fury now. every single day for eight weeks. No, no, no. I'll mix it up. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, always trying new shit, you know? which is why we probably don't get like that stimulant tolerance to different stimulants and stuff like that because yeah. we're always constantly changing them. That's it. So it's not it's not essential, David. It's personal preference, man. If you want to have a full stim break to reset your tolerance, when you come back from that stim break, pre workouts will hit you like a freight train, man. Yeah. But it's not necessary. Brandon J wants to know what also, need Voss. Also, Quad RX will help you with your adrenal support. Yeah, they, they, yeah, it, it down regulates your, your stim receptors. Brandon J wants to know, what's your favorite stimulant still available on the market? I don't have a personal favorite at the moment. What's yours? I've got monster, monster, monster burps going on right now. I would go so far as to say, probably at the moment would be infant energy, dicaffeine malate, or pure energy. The caffeine terror is still being co-crystal. I like all the stimulants, really. Uh, there's no, to be there's honest, no I don't really have a favourite. I think they've gotten rid of a lot of the good ones, I mean, like Amp Citrate. Amp Citrate. I f***ing love Amp Citrate. Dendrobium, like those kind of ones. Oh, Dendrobium's still available. Well, not in the f***ing like, form of with craze and shit. No, craze didn't get burned, banned because of Dendrobium, man. It got banned because they were f***ing splicing it with oh, methamphetamine. I, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Kauk wants to know, hey guys, love the videos and all the knowledge that comes with them. My question is, what amino acid supplement uh, would Neve recommend for someone looking to cut fat? No, no, this is a legit oh, no, question. There, there, was a, there was a quote, did you read the question that somebody asked now eating 17 quest bars a day? Yeah, I did. Uh, look, to, I to, to cut fat but keep muscle and sip on throughout the day. Would it be all day you may, machine fuel, amino build, amino tone, amino lift, core ABC? So someone, he's looking to cut fat, but keep muscle during the day, amino acid stuff. If you're using it just during the day, yeah. all day you may. Yeah, that's what it's made for. If you're, it's expensive though. Yeah, if you're gonna be using like, just a one like inch of workout as well, you and I have both been drinking Core ABC. Well, I drink Core ABC, that's my, that's my during the day amino. I love, I love MTS Machine Fuel inch of workout. Can't go past it, the best. But I don't enjoy drinking it during the day. Me neither. Because it makes you shit through the eye of the needle with all that. But also, like, I love the taste of machine, flavor of machine fuel during the day, like during training. Yeah. But I don't like it just when I'm sitting at my desk. Yeah. Blaine Likens wants to know, hey guys, I left a comment back in August about lean bulking for a show, trying to add on as much size as possible and wanted to update you. I've gone from 63 to 66 kilos and from 6% to 8% body fat. What do you think so far? 
My question is about cheat meal timing on a bolt. What do we think so far of that? Well, you've put on three three kilos, but also two percent body fat. So I'd almost that's almost that's, that's probably like more than two kilos of, of mass since August. Yeah. So three months. You know what that is? That's gains right there. It's good gains. That's like more than ten kilos don't, in a year if you keep that up. Don't yeah. So try not to let your body fat skip too high though. My question is 8% brother. No, that's Do you know what 8% feels like? No, fat Don't you be fat. commenting on letting your body fat skip. It's gone from 6 to 8%. No, that's fat. That is shredded. It's fat to me. It's not fat. I'm living daily. Though. My question. I'm, I'm daily 4%. My question is about uh, cheat meal timing on a bulk. How often should I have a cheat meal considering I'm a younger guy and sometimes can't get all my meals in due to my schedule? For example, from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m., I don't have a solid meal. Why not? Fuck also, pack considering. Pack some sandwich and go to the toilet and eat in the toilet. I have been going more Remember dense. Remember when I was trying to eat Quest bars and I used to hide in the toilets and eat them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I get a solid meal, my current macros look something like this 315 protein, 390 carb, 120 fat. Do my macros need adjusted based on my progress so far? Sorry for the long questions. Keep it up and stay massive. So quit, cheat meal timing on a bulk. He's a younger guy. How often? I'd say it's still twice a week. I'd say I'd say maximum twice a week, but probably once a week yeah. is going to be plenty. If you're going all out, you know, yeah. it depends on how you felt. Like if you're having like pizza and ice cream and shit, just yeah. once a week. If you're going for a bit cleaner option, then yeah. probably twice a week is fine. In terms of your macros, they look good to me, man. Yeah, look, I mean, if you're making gains and don't change them. Don't I mean, change them. You know, that's, at least the thing is, though, that you have a record of your... But the thing is, though, I mean, if you're missing meals and shit, you just have to be aware that you're not hitting those macros every single day. Yeah. So, I mean, you want to try uh, try your hardest yeah. to try and get those macros. Yeah. And just keep a consistent... I mean, that's that's why you're bulking and stuff, is keep doing your measurements. Yeah. Keep carrying your macros. Yeah. That way you know what's working, what's not, and you know what to change and what not to change. Yeah. How many more questions do you want to answer? Because we're going balls deep in this one. Well, how long have we got? Five minutes. Yeah, ages. I want to bore the viewers at home. How many more questions we got? 15. 15 more? Yeah. Is there a few, like, can we just rapid fire some shit? No, we can't, man. They're all balls deep questions. This is what I'm saying. It's yeah. take, take forever. I'm getting tired. I can, I can see that. That's why I thought I'd ask. Let's take two more questions. You're going to need to grab that because that's what Barney Young's in the last. And then we'll go through the rest of them. Uh, no, just go a couple then. All right. Fionn Andrews wants to know can what. You know what uh, why do people write like essays? Well, people company, man. I don't give a how long your question is. I'm going to answer that shit. <laughs> Why do you play good cop, bad cop? <laughs> <laughs> Fionn Andrews wants to know, what's up fellas, I'm 19 years old and like to take supplements mainly in the form of BCAAs, pre-workouts and protein. Several of my family and friends, however, have expressed concern as to the long-term effects of supplementation. I was wondering, do you guys think that there is a risk to long-term supplementation at my age? I know Joe has mentioned in a video that many of these studies suggest long-term health effects are limited, but just thought I'd ask. Thanks guys and stay massive from Dublin in Ireland. I mean, I've been using sub since I was, I've been using protein powder since I was 16. Yeah. And then like pre-workout since I was about 18. Yeah. I mean, I'm 26 now and I haven't noticed any ill effects. Yeah. I don't think from those, I mean, creatine is found naturally in red meat. Yeah. BCAAs are well, found in f***ing protein. Yeah. Protein is protein. Yeah. I mean, you're not the thing is, man, even if there are long-term health effects from using too many supplements, no one is going to know about them yet because no one's been using them long enough. No. Supplements have only been around for at maximum 20 years. Yeah. So, why stress about it? Yeah. You only live once, you know what I'm saying? I Can mean, you get Barney Ong's question? I mean, all these things are all found naturally in like food sources and... Well, that's it. You're not putting any, you know, exogenous drugs into your body. You're not putting synthetic hormones into your body. Exactly. We're talking natural supplementations up in this bitch. Last question for this week. And we'll go through all the other, we'll get, we'll, we'll continue with these Ask Neves next week. Was, Are we opening up for questions? No, there's one question I want to ask. Yeah. Uh, Dave, answer Dave 1000's. Dave 1000 wants to know, it says on the T432 Plus label, the ATP product, to take it with food, I've been taking on an empty stomach before fasted cardio, thinking it will help burn fat. Will this have any negative effects? So that's not how the product works. No. So the product isn't you meant. It's as, not a fat. It's not so a fat it's, it's burner. Not a fat, it's not a fat. It's burner. not a fat burner. It's a metabolic catalyst, so it helps your metabolism and also helps with your nutrition and nutrition partitioning. So the way with the cinnamon in there, the way that your body deals with the carbohydrates. Yeah. 
um, your insulin response, that kind of stuff. Cinnamon. So yeah, so what it what it's for is it's not a fat burner. It's not, don't compare it to drop factor or oxy shred or yeah. core burn or any of those kind of products. It's completely different. Yeah. So you're meant to be having it with meals. Yeah. So don't have it, but you're not going to notice anything from having it like pre cardio. It's not going to give you energy or anything. So you like have, that. I have one capsule with each solid meal throughout the day. Yeah. So that's how you need That's energy. a lot of capsules for you, man. Well, you're six. eating like 10 times a day. I'm eating six. So oh, I eat yeah. six a day. So you have one with each solid meal. So yeah, you are having it wrong and you're probably not getting any results from it mm. because you are using it wrong. Barney Ong wants to know, Nevosh, have you ever had the case of your muscles being too pumped to the point that it's actually counterproductive? The other day I stacked Core Fury Extreme V2 and Core Pump, the Extreme Pump stack. Yeah. And trained arms. Was that our workout, Barney? Was that with Swole Bait and I in Ballarat? Oh, I reckon it might have been. I think it was just because you trained with swole. Towards the end, the pump was so intense that I actually had difficulty contracting the damn muscles or even gripping things. Is this actually a good thing or is there ever such a thing as too much pump? I reckon there is because I trained um, arms yep. the other day as well. Yep. And I used core pump, core mm -hmm. fury, mm -hmm. core ABC, all mm -hmm. pre-workout. Mm -hmm. And then I used um, MTS machine fuel intra workout mm -hmm. and also used prototype 8. With my pre-workout. The Nevos pump stack, baby. Intra workout and post workout. Uh, I spent 500 bucks on my pre-workout. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't give a because I was jacked. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give a I Nevos, Nevos life tips right there. I, Spend 500 bucks on your pre-workout stack and give zero because you're jacked. <laughs> So, I like the, it. Bravo. The thing, the thing was, three quarters into my workout, yeah. I was like hitting biceps and I could, literally could not feel the muscle like contracting. Two anymore. pumps. Yeah. So I, I'm like, what? De the it definitely is, exists, Barney. I actually p personally stay away from pump additives on leg day because yeah. my legs get too pumped to the point where you can't even and contract them yeah you know it's ridiculous you can't get my muscle con you can't get my muscle connection because your legs are too mm. pumped so yeah, definitely i don't use them on leg day yeah but also yeah on um i use prototype type 8 post workout on leg day yeah but the thing is though on um yeah definitely with arms like i could i couldn't contract them i couldn't feel the muscle actually working anymore yeah. so i i thought I'm getting out of here. So there is, there is a thing is too much there pump. Is. Yeah. All right. So we're taking, we're going to open up for Ask Neve next week because we got like, there's like, there's probably ten questions left. So we can take another like ten for next week. I'd yeah. say, wouldn't you? Yeah. Apart from that, do you have anything else you'd like to add before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word and all the other deliciousness in our YouTube channel. Where are we coming to him from? Neve. Masterjoes.com. Stay.